Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jensen with CCJ3701 Research Methods and Criminology. So I thought I'd just do a brief video on choosing variables. Uh, if you've found some data that looks interesting or promising, uh, could have been data we've used in class or data maybe that you found through the ICPSR website. And we had a video on that from last week that uh, looks promising then you want to open it up in SPSS and uh, start looking at it. I kind of call this flirting with the data, right? You're going to see if the pieces in here have, um, have some suitability for what you want to do. So if you want to use the Ad Health data set, that's what I'm in right now. Uh, maybe you're still kind of brainstorming where to find things. Um, I like this section of the data. It starts on row 5888. Um, this is behavior that people have self-reported um, in the last 12 months. How often have you damaged property that's not yours, stealing something, uh, selling drugs, um, being in a physical fight with your partner, um, buying sale or selling stolen property, uh, misusing credit cards, deliberately writing bad checks, um, hurting someone bad enough to need medical care. Um, shooting or stabbing people, pulling guns and knives on you, uh, or had someone um, shoot or stab you, so there's the victim side. Um, slap, hit, choke you, you were beaten up, um, having a, a again, uh, something done that you do, something you do to someone else, pulling a, a gun or knife on someone. And then right here at row 5908, they have little CJs. You see it says H4CJ1. This is kind of the CJ data inside Ad Health. So this is where you start to get into those official criminal justice actions that someone experienced. We did a uh, lab that had to do with this. Have you ever been arrested by police? And I'm just going through the rows. Um, the age when you were arrested, um, number of times you've been arrested before age 18, um, or a number of times arrested since age 18. And again, I like the wave four, you see all these little W4s. I like the wave four because it gives me lots of years of experience to work with. Um, it also talks about the type of arrest charge that people had, um, whether it was a DUI, uh, it was a robbery, um, rape, aggravated assault, th uh, fraud, theft. Um, down here, you know, what, what about your last arrest? You know, what, what charge was that? Um, have you ever been convicted of or pled guilty to a crime? Um, your age when you were convicted, age when you're first convicted. Um, what the charge was. Um, you also have um, kind of first and last conviction or plea guilty. Um, you have incarceration data in here too. Number of times you've been incarcerated, the age you were first and last incarcerated, uh, the length of your sentence in months and years, uh, total incarceration time, and so forth. Uh, then you start getting into some drug use stuff. So this talks about smoking tobacco. Uh, later on it talks about chewing tobacco. Um, then alcohol and um, problems that you experience while you're drinking. Um, then you start talking about um, stimulants and painkillers, um, those TO questions we built a scale with not too long ago, or summation, um, using cocaine, using heroin. So that's the little section of ad health that you might want to look at for some of those criminological behaviors. And remember, you have a lot of other information about people in here too. You have information about uh, what they were like in school, uh, about their family life, about uh, their marital history, about their race and uh, ethnic identity, about their gender, about um, their education. Um, you have a little bit of employment information in here. You also have um, information about where they lived, um, the kind of aspirations they've had, um, self-esteem stuff, health problems. I mean, all kinds of things. So again, I encourage you to look at Ad Health. There's probably very few topics you couldn't do. Um, but when you get ready to look for variables, make sure that that's what you want. So not only just look at the description and the label, but you also need to go pull that Ad Health code book, which you can find in one of our earlier weeks from class, or you can go find it on the ICPSR website, or you can go to the Ad Health website, and there's a copy of the code book in there, which has a copy of the questionnaire that'll give you the actual question wording of how that question was asked. You can see the question that was asked before it and after it, if there's any special sequencing in the question, 
and so forth. And so those are things you're going to need for your method section because you do need to record the question as it was asked so people know where it came from and how it was worded. So uh, again, just uh, be practical. So make sure you find data that works for you. Um, the best research paper is the finished research paper. So you might not get to do exactly the topic you want to do, but maybe you find a variable uh, that's really close to what you want to do, and that will work for purposes of the paper. In an ideal world, we would all go out and collect data and write surveys and, and do our own data, but um, in, in order to get a paper done in 16 weeks, that's not really feasible. So uh, it's better just to use existing data so we can practice our data skills and our statistical skills on data that's already been collected for us. Um, again, you could collect this data from another organization or entity on your own, and we'll spend some time in the remaining weeks of class talking about some of those things like field research and developing good survey questions and best practices when you have to go get data yourself um, that you can use as good tools in, uh, in employment or graduate study later. Uh, but hopefully this little segment helped you think about how to find variables. Be very creative with your search terms. Um, if you can't find the word marijuana, try searching for pot, right? Um, I typed in marijuana pot. <laughs> um, you know, type in, uh, this says times I smoked pot. Sometimes <coughs> what's in the label is different than the question wording. Um, you know, you might want to try um, the word, you know, stimulant rather than you know illegal drugs or something like that so it'll start to kind of help you get into the kind of topics you want to do this is also where the literature can prove to be really helpful sometimes it's hard to find the word rape in a data set instead you may find assault um, or uh, maltreatment you may find um, choke or burn or push or shove rather than than assault sometimes sometimes you need to talk about um, Things like oral anal sexuality, if people forcibly did those things to you and you're looking for those behaviors, you might need to be very specific. Um, so again, if I, if I search on the word oral, um, where it actually came up on moral, <laughs> um, did you talk about, um, um, ever, have you ever had oral sex? Have you ever been forced to have oral sex? Um, you know, those kind of things. So you have to kind of think about how it could be presented in the data based on kind of the sensitivity of the topic, the many words that goes by, and so forth. So, uh, so <laughs> think about that and the many ways that you could bring attention to a topic. Um, if you have trouble finding data or finding variables to use for your research, please let me know and we can go search that out together. Uh, there is a chance you may have to change your topic, so you might need to have a backup question that you could do uh, just in case. Uh, we can't find data for you to use, so just kind of keep that in mind as, as a good plan B. But we want to find that out pretty early, so when you start drafting up sections and creating tables and, and pieces like that for your paper, you don't get too far behind. Um, we want you to start getting these pieces created early, so that way at the end, when we get to the end of the semester, you just have to assemble it all together. Uh, but if you have trouble getting your topic locked down, it could prove to be a big obstacle and getting the pieces drafted. So hopefully this wraps things up for choosing variables. And again, other videos have shown you how to find other data. If you have questions or need help, please reach out. Thanks.